Distance learning has been a big adjustment for schools this past year, but finding a new way to teach kids was a priority. It can be hard without the right tools, though. Our Alex Tejada explains how one small community decided to step in when it saw a need. Barrett, the city of Racine is home to less than 500 people, but the Mauer County town looks out for its own. So when there was a need for a way to distance learn for the younger school children, the city council found a way to make it happen, thanks to some much needed money coming in last year. Our community is very tight knit. I mean, everybody pretty much knows everybody. Family oriented, we look after each other. The kids all know each other. The Racine City Council hoped to help out those kids thanks to some new funds. The CARES Act money helped do some things to update our city. They gave it to you in such a short time to use. Uh, you had a month, I think, to use it up. So they used it to stock the town's food bank, buy laptops for council members, as well as iPads for the kids in town. This was such an easy decision. Kids come first, uh, and along it helps the families, mom and dad. This will help out immensely. Nelson also has a daughter who received an iPad, and she already knows how to use it. She shows us. Um, she's very knowledgeable. The iPads will help with the children in Racine's education, but there are still technology issues. We have internet, but it could be a lot faster. I, I, big speed is a problem, I guess, from the people that are on it a lot. But after adding a new water tower, fencing in a lagoon, and revitalizing Main Street, the council has the mayor's faith to continue to improve the city. Good people, they, they think about the city, and that's what we need. But the younger generation, we got to get them involved. The iPads are a first step, planting a seed in the future of Racine. Our city works together. No arguments. I've never had to vote to break a tie, and that, that's great. The food bank in Racine has helped many people during this pandemic. It is located at United Methodist Church, open Thursday between 6 and 8, and now open from 9 to 11 Monday mornings for the month of January. Reporting live in the studio, Alex Tejada, KTVC News. Thanks, Alex. Freezing for funds.